bolts in the beautiful spoiler's teeth that Quinn continues to cause Forrester's problems. But now it's said to be a smaller problem than any other problem. B&B fans know that Eric ordered Quinn and Carter into their hot game. The patriarch felt that Quinn would be happy to do something with Carter, which she could not provide. Sofer and St. Victoria's characters were confused by his decision, baffled and guilty about doing so, but Carter was still unable to refuse the offer in the end. Meanwhile, back at Forrester Creations, Ridge is questioning his father why he still reconciles with a woman who doesn't respect him. Obviously, Quinn made too many mistakes, but time and time and again, Eric just ignored and accepted forgiveness. Two fans still wonder how these people are able to conduct some actual exchange, when personal issues are almost as always at the forefront of the daily agenda. Ridge may have forgotten of all of his past mistakes, but fans still remember that he kissed Quinn not too long ago. The terrible betrayal left Eric deeply traumatized and temporarily removed Ridge from his life. There is nothing serious in the Ridge and Quinn encounter, since no one's love has existed anymore, and the two seem to have really forgotten the kiss they once gave each other, and they were caught by Eric. But the memory of that terrible betrayal, which Ridge never wanted to recall, he was probably not feeling guilty about his thoughtlessness of Quinn. Being Beast Boys, Brooke seeing the truth. Not only Ridge, but Brooke also asked many questions about what he was really going on. Along with Ridge's subconscious motivations and Brooke's actions, this couple promises to bring a lot of trouble when trying to find the answer. Brooke hates Quinn, and she's never liked a thing about this woman, as recently said, and she'll want to know what Quinn is up to. In fact, Ridge has the same idea as Brooke. The pair will plan to investigate Quinn to see what she is doing behind their back, or finding information related to Quinn that would be most valuable. When Justin received Ridge's orders to spy on Quinn, Brooke was standing aside from her husband, so she is said to be driving the effort. Eric does not want to disclose any information related to this personal matter, so with Quinn's wish fulfilled, Eric must not be humiliated. If she'd worked out that's a passion for Carter in secret, it wouldn't have been better than publicity. If Eric announced his divorce from Quinn, he would boost their relationship, and it certainly would, and Quinn would have every reason to go public with Quarter. But the unusual scenario Eric is developing will probably be revealed in the final movements of the show. Or the Quarter plan seems to represent a final card being played as part of an attempt to retain the appearance of perceived normality. Whatever it is, when the results of the truth are made public, it promises to bring many dangers to Ridge, and reality shows that all of Ridge's actions and efforts are in vain. Justin feels he just accomplished defeat and the quarter's gathering of evidence of the affair is guaranteed to bring Ridge's absolute satisfaction. It was also the best answer Ridge could have been waiting for, in Justin's opinion. However, the reality was not like that. Not even Ridge thought that all this came from his father's arrangement.